And Bob, I got to think, it was a shortened uh, Kings Mill Championship on the LPGA Tour, only 54 holes. If there was 18 to go, I got to <laughs> think Brooke gets this thing done. I got to agree with you. She was on a real heater there those last couple of rounds and playing some really good golf. It's been the weather plague season, but she plays good in bad weather. So maybe some more rain would have helped her actually than hurt her. But her 29th top 10 finish of her career. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable at such a young age. She only missed six greens in three rounds. The ball striking was incredible, and the putting was getting better, Bob, as the week went on, 29 putts in the last two rounds. And she's gone back and forth with a couple of different putters. She put an old, new, newer old putter back in the bag this week, which seemed to be working, and I think uh, when, when she putts well, she's, she can win. She can win. Top tens in the last three years on the LPJ Tour. You spoke to her consistency. She's only trailing Aria Jatanagar in terms of the most top tens in those last three years. Let's hear it now from Brooke Henderson on her narrow one-stroke uh, miss of the playoff. I just had a lot of great energy today. You know, I started off with three birdies right off the start uh, and felt like I could really go low today, which is a great feeling. And, you know, I kind of leveled off for a little while there, but then on the back nine to finish with, I think, four birdies pretty close together is awesome. And, you know, I came up a little bit short this week, but I, just to be in the hunt again and to feel that kind of adrenaline and to see my name at the top of the leaderboard is always a lot of fun. It was pretty awesome. You know, I just felt like it was in the groove and I felt like I could make birdies and I, I can make a charge. And so I'm really happy I was able to do that. And like I said, just to, to be in the hunt again, to feel that adrenaline, to be so close to winning is really exciting. I feel like it's in a great spot, you know, ball striking wise. I think I'm hitting it great. And I started to roll on some putts this week too, which is always a good feeling for me. And I'm gonna take a week off. I'm gonna go to Florida and practice and get ready for the US Women's Open and, you know, hopefully put a good showing there.